YouTube, welcome to this tutorial on how to model a handgun in Blender and also Blender Basics at the same time. I had to cut the last video short because I screwed up the topology and everything modeling so I didn't want you modeling the wrong thing. Uh, just delete everything you had before by hitting, you know, say I had my model here, just hit X, delete. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hit Shift A, Mesh Cube. Hit five. Wait. Whoops. Okay. If your cursor's not on center, hit Shift S, cursor to center. That's just going to help you. And then add a cube, and you should be like that. Go to t hit Tab to go into Edit Mode. If this is on, turn it off. Control R to add a loop cut. And as you can see, you can move this up and down. Just hit Escape, and it should make one in the middle perfectly in them. Go to about the side view and hit B and just select all the bottom ones and hit X faces. And now you have half a cube. Now if you go up here to the modifiers tab which is this little wrench you can add a mirror and you'll notice nothing happened. Uncheck X and check Z and it'll reflect it on the Z axis. Now if we go into edit mode, you can see that whatever we edit on one side, we'll edit on the other. But if you notice, if I select this and move it up and down, it splits apart, and we don't want that. So go over here and check clicking, or bleh, clipping, and it won't move anymore because the two vertices will be merged. If you want to see both sides like an editing mesh, you can do it this way, but I think it's just too confusing. So after you do that, go tab to go into object mode and hit G and grab your cube so it aligns right where the magazine touches the gun. Go back into edit mode, select the top vertices and bring them down a lot to about there. Now select these sides, bring it over and select this corner and bring it back. Now you're aligning with the back, not where it starts to go down or anything, you're aligning with the entire gun. So do the same with this side, too. Don't worry if it's not perfect, almost no, you're not going to be able to make it perfectly. Just rely on straight edges, because it'll look better. So what you're going to do now is you're going to select nothing, actually right now. You're going to hit Z to go into wireframe and hit control, control R and double click to make one through the side just like that. And then just drag the vertices so they match. Just like that. Now select these and extrude it by hitting E. You're going to want to extrude this all the way up to the bottom of this little area right here where the uh, finger, the trigger shield maybe, um, because we're going to need to do that. I screwed up recording it last time and I had to redo it, so don't do that. And extrude it again until you get to the top, right here. Just straight up, or you can even go over like I'm going to do. Now go over here and hit Control R and move that down to the top. You want to make sure that kind of stays there. Select that vertice, move it all the way over to the corner, and make another loop cut there, and drag it all the way over to that corner. Drag that out. And that looks kind of bad right now, so we're just going to make a couple loop cuts. Do not make any in here. Whatever you do, do not make any right there because it'll really mess you up. What you want to do is you just want to make them up here. Okay, now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control R and make a large loop cut. And what we're doing is we're aligning it with this little area down here on the bottom of the mag. 
just extrude that down and model that part really quick. That looks pretty good. Also, something that will just make it look better is since it's really fat right now, select all the top vertices. And I have an airsoft gun right here that is a USP 45, so I can look at it in real life and actually rotate it and see the size of it. So I'm just adjusting it so it looks about the size of the handle. That's good. Hit control S to save. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to go up here, take this, and just kind of wait, hit A, B, and select both of these, and hit S to scale, which will do this. Hit X to only scale it on the X axis, and hit 0, so it aligns the two perfectly. And drag it over so it kind of matches that area. Okay, so that's good. Now you're going to hit E to extrude it, extrude it all the way down so it hits that edge. Now also what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control R, make a loop cut, and then drag it to about there, and then drag this corner up. I'm just going to drag this up because it's just going to make it easier. And it doesn't really hurt it in any way. It just makes it look a little better. How much time do I have? Seven minutes. Okay. So I'm also going to make two loop cuts. One there. And one there. And then I'm going to extrude it straight down. Just a little bit. Because as you can see right here, the shadows kind of change. So that means it's kind of curved. So extrude it about halfway down. And then hit scale it on the x-axis. And then just tweak the vertices a little bit. If you need to, move this entire loop cut so it's straight down a little bit to the left. And then just play with it and start modeling it. All I'm going to do is I'm adding loop cuts. And moving the vertices. So on this part, you're going to want to extrude it to about there. Just move that part down so it looks right. Then extrude it halfway where that little hump is, and extrude it again to the other side. Then all you have to do from there is drag that up, and make a loop cut there, and drag it down. And make a loop cut here, and drag it down. So you get that nice little curve, that nice little hump. Okay, now on this last little part, I'm going to extrude it, just so I can see if I'm doing this, and then I'm going to drag this up, 
and I'm going to drag this over here. And I'm not going to do anything right now. I am instead going to right click these two and hit merge at last. And then right click these two and hit merge at last. Now if I right click this one and then this one, I'll hit merge at last. But if I hit this one and then this one, it, it'll actually mess up. If I hit, whoops, if I hit at last again, it'll merge at the last one I selected. So really, it all depends which way you select and which one you're going to hit. So it's starting to look like a gun actually right now. Just make a couple extra tweaks like right here. It'd be probably good to add a loop cut. For some reason it's not letting me make a loop cut there. Actually right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unmerge these and then make a loop cut. Yeah, so you're probably going to want to make a loop cut before you merge it. Just a uh, heads up. I'm just going to merge it and then cut that part out. So it's good. It's a good idea to save it because if you hit X, it doesn't ask you if you want to save or not, which I think is really stupid. They need to patch that or something because I've lost so much stuff. So one last thing we're going to do before we actually start modeling it like this. While we're still tracing it, we're going to add one loop cut right down here. And you're going to line it to the edge about. And then also you're going to make a loop cut here. Let's do this in wireframe mode so you can see. And drag all three of those vertices back. Actually, don't do that. Make a loop cut here. And then here. At the same time. Make a couple tweaks like that, and you should be good. Now, if we go over here, we can select these vertices. If you hit 7, 5, and then hit C, it'll bring up this little brush. Just paint over all the outside vertices, and if you accidentally select wrong ones like that, right click or not right click click the middle mouse button and while you're holding it just paint over all the vertices you don't want and hit escape to get out of that now we have all these and that's about good so wait nope first you're going to want to make a loop cut here and then drag these over and now we should be good Yeah, make any more edits right now because it'll be harder later. And now select them. You only want to select them to about there. Maybe a little more. And hit B and then drag the middle mouse button and deselect all the ones in the middle and drag this down. Actually select, deselect that one too and then drag them down. Actually every gun is going to be a little bit different. But this one, you, you only want to drag it down to about there and then drag these out. Drag all the ones in the middle. Whoops, not there. Do not drag those out. Only drag the ones on the edge out. Just drag them out a little bit and you'll get a rounded handle. I messed up. 
and I had these too high. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to drag them down. And that should be good. Now you can now as you can see you have a really good handgun right now. And right now if you extrude these up and then this over That'll be about the last part for this tutorial. So the last thing I'm going to do before I end this is I'm going to go over here and manually right click all these vertices. And then I'm going to turn this on so that way I can't select anything by accident. I'm going to hit C and just paint over this entire trigger shield thing. And now, if I drag this down, it'll look really good. Now you can tell it's a handgun and not just a brick. So that's the last part of this tutorial. Feel free to make any tweaks because, again, every handgun's a little different. For example, right now what I'm doing is I'm going to select all these and then hit SZ0. Just make sure they're all even. But other than that, it should be pretty good. And there is your partially done handgun. Save it, and that's it for this tutorial. I will get with you next week, and we will finish the slide. Again, subscribe, comment for any future tutorials. And if you need any help, just message me and I will tell you and I will help you the best I can.